In this video, we're going to learn how to generate a random string using Python. The first thing we'll do is import the random module because this module includes a function called choice, which is going to help us to generate our random strings. When we call the choice function with random.choice and we pass it a string like ABC, this function is going to return a string made up of one character that is randomly chosen from this string we pass as an argument. We could output that string that's returned by the function with print. We'll have print here to output the return string. We'll save this and run the program and we'll get here A. Then we get C, A, and so on. So we can see it's randomly choosing one of those characters. We'll use this function to help us build our random string. We'll create a function to generate and return the random string. We'll call the function create random string and the function will have the parameters length and cars, where length is going to be the length of the generated string, and cars is a string containing the possible characters that could be included in that string. Now, what we'll do is start off with a string that's empty. We'll have random string is equal to the empty string. And what we'll do is continually concatenate a random character selected from cars to the string. So we'll have for i in range length. And this for loop body is going to run length number of times so we can concatenate length amount of characters to random string. And we'll have random dot choice cars to randomly select a character from the car string. Then we'll concatenate that character to random string with random string plus equals. So when this for loop is done executing, we'll have concatenated length amount of randomly chosen characters to random string. We can then return that random string with return and random string. Then we could test out our function down here. We'll store the return value into a variable called string. We'll call create random string and we'll pass it eight for the length and we'll pass it the uppercase letters for the possible characters. Then down here, we'll output string with print string. And if we save the program and give it a try, we're now getting these random strings made up of eight characters that have been randomly selected from our string of uppercase letters. Now, we might not wanna manually define strings like this. What we could do is import the string module. This string module includes constants like ASCII letters, where for example, ASCII letters includes all the letters from A to Z, both uppercase and lowercase. Down here, we could output that with print and string dot ASCII letters. And if we save the program and try it out, we'll see that ASCII letters does include all the lowercase and uppercase letters. So we could use these constants to build our string of possible characters. We could have here possible characters is equal to, and we'll have string dot ASCII letters for all the letters. Then we could have possible characters plus equals to concatenate and we'll have string dot digits to include all the digits too. Then we'll have possible characters plus equals to concatenate, and we'll have string dot punctuation for the punctuation marks as well. Then we could call create random string, and we'll output the return value using print. And what we'll pass at this time is our possible character string. So we'll have here possible characters. And if we save this, and give it a try. Now we get these strings that include letters, digits, and punctuation marks. We could also get the length and the possible characters string from user input. So for example, we could have here two calls to input. So we'll have string length is equal to, and we'll call int, and we'll pass it the return value of calling input, and we'll pass input the string random string length to prompt the user to enter the random string length. The input function is going to return the string the user enters and int is going to convert that value into an int which we'll store into string length. Then we'll call input again to get the possible characters from user input. So we'll have possible characters is equal to and we'll call input and we'll pass it the string possible characters colon to prompt the user with this text and the string they enter is going to be returned by input and possible characters will store it. Then down here, when we call create random string, 
we'll now pass it the string length from user input with string length. Now, if we save this and try it out, we could enter in, let's say 20 for the length and maybe just zero and one for the possible characters. And now we get this random string of length 20 made up of only zero and one. Now, one more thing I'll show you is a way to reduce the size of this function. So we could use a different technique to generate our random string. Instead of a loop which performs string concatenations, we could instead use a list comprehension and the string join method. So here we'll use a list comprehension. We'll have random dot choice cars for i in range length. So this list comprehension is going to result in a list of length number of items, where each item is a string made up of one character randomly chosen from the car string. Then what we could do is join together all these characters into a string using the string join method. So here we'll have the empty string and then join and we'll pass it this list. And the join method is going to join together all these strings made up of one character in this list into a new string. And all those strings are going to be separated by no characters at all. We could then return this string with return here. And if we save this and try it out, we could enter in, let's say 20 and ABC. And now we get this string of 20 characters made up of A, B, or C. So this is how we can generate a random string using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.